I am drinking Ranny Float Orange. What? What is it? What is it? Like I don't know. A creamsicle type it's thing? From Superstore. What's Ranny Float? Mm. What does it taste like? Orange juice with chunks in it. Oh, Extra you're extra f- pulpy. <laughs> I love pulp. They just like I'm. I'm. I'm a pulp. I'm a pulp guy too. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it's called a float. Hi, internet. Because because there's chunks of orange floating. Yeah, maybe it's just it should just be called Ranny Floaties. Hey, Internet. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Strong start. Welcome to episode fucking whatever. Two hundred and twenty. Two hundred and thirty two. Get there. Get two hundred thirty two. Yup. Yep. Of our two hundred thirty two. The podcast where we look at the things that made people mad online. Explain why they're dumb for caring. I'm and Derek is super high energy tonight. I'm which so is okay, fucking. I was. I am uh, also low energy. This is going to be your life very soon. I was. It was yeah. my night with the baby last night, and he was waking mm-hmm. up every fucking hour and a half and just screaming yeah. for no reason because mm-hmm. babies are little shitheads and they can't really communicate what's bothering them, so they just yeah. get like mad. Oh man, I saw like two years ago online there was some like thing that had the different types of crying. And it was supposed to be able to interpret what it was. I should find that. It probably you should doesn't work. It might it might be helpful as you are about to embark on uh on the babies. The baby journey. Oh. I was have you checked your calendar for the no, start why? of silly season? Why why? <laughs> I don't know. Why? It has why? nothing to do with anything, Oops. and it's not a story we're gonna talk about, but we're talking about it now, Dale. Meatball Ron. <laughs> they were like in an interview. They're like, "What do you have to say to Trump? Like, just basically slapping your dick in the mud and the in the news and stuff." And he's like, "Well, that's just silly season." And I was like, "That's the best <laughs> retort ever." <laughs> Anytime someone says something mean to you, you'd be like, "Oh, I guess it's silly season now, isn't it?" <laughs> it must be a silly season. <laughs> Hi, Meatball I love Ron. It. I it's, love it. It's so funny because this is the guy who you like, you hear about what DeSantis did and he basically, he's like, I'm not doing lockdown and all this stuff. And then you hear like news bites and he's like, it's silly season. And he's like five foot eight. And you, you basically think from the shit he's doing with like the say no to gay. Yeah. It's five foot eight. He's something like that. Oh, he projects himself much, uh. You'd expect he'd look like Drago from Rocky or something with his, like, super close-minded idiot redneck bills and stuff that he's trying to do and how he, like, just takes over Disney and shit. You're like, yeah. wow, that guy must just be, like, some fucking... But I guess maybe it's, like, his Napoleon complex or something. Could... He's 5'11". What? That's a reasonable height. Yeah, that is. Why do I think he was so much shorter than that? I mean, it's not that a great height, real. but it's, no, it's reasonable. He's not 5'11". Okay, would the, the internet lie height. to me? Well, I'm using DuckDuckGo. Yeah, it says he's 5'11". What the fuck? Because... Wait, this one says he's 5'9". What are you looking at? Uh, what's, what's the source? Thisnation.com. Sounds sounds like uh, Russian Politics propaganda. People. Ron DeSantis nest, uh, says he's... It also only says he's 154 pounds, though. There you go. Yeah. Wikipedia wouldn't lie to me. Ron yeah. DeSantis. M Daily I, Record also says he's 5'9". Ron DeSantis. Is... Let's go to Wikipedia. It's not on there. I guess they don't... They only <laughs> capture height he for, like, He probably athletes, erased it. Ron DeSantis height. I thought I thought he was called Meatball Ron because he was like round. Italian. Right. Oh, he does look like a meatball. Such a good nickname for him. He can't be 5'11. Oh yeah, maybe. He's not that much shorter than Trump. What the fuck? Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was hallucinating when I heard that on fucking podcasts and shit. 
Oh, wait. What? There are rumors that Governor DeSantis had had uh, surgical leg extensions for height to extend to make him what? taller. Yeah. That's wild. 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 Wait, I was listening to this political podcast and they said he was like five, he was short. What the fuck? Okay. It could be. Who knows? There's no real reliable sources of information out there. It's like these politicians have lied to me. <laughs> Yerks. Yeah. They would never do such a thing. All right, let's talk about something that's for sure, for sure. And that is that Dilbert is a racist. Or what is the name? Adam Scott? No, it's not Adam Scott. Scott Adams. Adam, Scott Adams. The two, Scott Adams. Never, never trust a man with two first names. <laughs> it's true. That, I think that's the, the takeaway here. Also, yeah. to anyone who's been on Twitter... Scott Adams has kind of been like a deplorable shithead for a very long time now. Yeah. Uh, He's been an obnoxious right winger for a while. To me, the story here was it like, oh shit, Scott Adams is a horrible racist. It was like, oh wow, it took Scott Adams this long <laughs> to get canceled. Cause like, <laughs> I- I'm going to put it out there. Like, Dilbert is not even that great like i would not say i would say dilbert is not the top tier of uh of comic strips no they're what what so it's not like they had to hold on to him because he, he was like a beloved you look like you were gonna say something. You i was i was reading the <laughs> poll that Scott, I was looking for the like specific numbers on the poll that Scott Adams was citing okay. when he yeah, said so let's, dumb bullshit. Let's get it. Let's... And to further, to further, to further what you're saying, further. Uh, Dilbert was never really that funny, but neither are very many comics in the newspaper. Like I went back recently to read the comics and I guess I've just been... I guess scandalized and seeing such dark humor for so long on the internet that now you read like newspaper comics and you're like, this is like for elementary school stuff. Well, but yeah, I mean, they got to keep it PG, right? Like these mm-hmm. are like daily. How many drinks you got going on right now, bro? You I got, got three. Like, you got a whole drink buffet happening. Dude, I got this tiger malt stuff. Yeah, I I like that shit. Because I seen it and I'm like, I'm going to try that. And it tastes like Maltesers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like if Maltesers were pop. There's also it's like 8,000 so grams of sugar in it. Yeah. It's not healthy at all. Are you what looking at the that? the fuck? 53. I'm not drinking yeah. that. <laughs> I am pouring that in the drink train because 53 grams of sugar. Yeah. It's, it's not. Which wow. I think is more than your standard uh, bottle of Coca-Cola. Yeah, a standard bottle of Coca Cola is sixteen or twenty six, one of the two. Yeah, there's lots. There's lots in there. Yeah, that's too sweet. Uh, anyway, Scott Adams, <sighs> what was the actual? Do you want to like the poll? Okay, I'll explain the poll. Yeah. So, Rasmussen, which is this like right wing bullshit thing. Uh, so we got to even backtrack even further. So, do you remember like two thousand seventeen ish? where there was these posters that were put up on like camp, like college campuses and stuff that just said, it's okay to be white. Do you remember that? Uh, yes. Sounds, sounds okay. like a common thing. That was just like this thing where I guess somebody felt disenfranchised about like, that was about when the whole reverse racism thing came out and people, there's this thing where people were like, black people can't be racist only white people can be racist and there's this whole thing where there's like these stupid white groups that were like felt marginalized and they're making a big stink and then rasmussen the website was like is there like a right-wing website and they attached onto it they're like this is totally okay to say and anybody who says it's not okay to be white is a bad person or whatever right-wing version that is and then Rasmussen did this poll where they asked black Americans, they said, how do you feel about the statement? It's okay to be white. And uh, 53% of them said, that's okay. And then um, 26% of them said, 
I disagree. And then 21% said they didn't know. So of that 26%, you got to figure that a lot of them were joking and just being just trolling. Try to. Yeah. So I, would, I hope so. Yeah. And also Scott Adams doesn't know how to do fucking math. And he's an idiot because he cites this poll and he's like, the majority of black Americans aren't okay with white people. And it's like, well, that's three leaps that you just took because 53% are okay with that statement. 21% said they don't know. So if you really want to do the math, 74% of black Americans that were asked also Art. are okay with the saying or <clears throat> are not against the specific phrase. It's okay to be black or white. Sorry. But only 117 people were asked as well. That that was the extent of that was the whole sample yeah. size. 117 so, people. Yeah, of a hundred, like <laughs> Scott Adams just torpedoed <laughs> his whole career on a faulty, <laughs> faulty fucking poll that was asked of a hundred people. That's basically like somebody going to one college campus. And walking across and asking that many people in a day. That's, you could ask that many people in an hour on your average college mm. cat. Here's the thing, as Scott, and this is like, so what Scott Adams did is he saw this, uh, these poll results, and then he went on this rant on his, what, like, vlog or something? Podcast. podcast. Just say Whatever podcast. the fuck it is. Yeah. Uh, basically saying that, like uh blm is a terrorist organization and all no what he said what he said was he didn't say blm was a terrorist organization what he said was since the majority of black people aren't okay with white people that makes them a hate group like it's even worse than what you said because he didn't relegate it to just blm he He said said all black people yeah he said black people are a hate group because the majority of them hate white people. And it's like, none of that was shown in this poll, which he cited. He's like, this Rasmussen poll. And it's just like... So none of that was shown in this poll, which was already mm. deeply flawed and pulled Mm -hmm. from like a tiny sample. And like, this is just, uh, this is basically another in a long line of right-wingers and like white people desperate, who are so desperate to feel like they're, the ones being oppressed and they're the Mm -hmm. victims that they will like go Mm -hmm. out of their way and be like, Oh fuck a poll with 117 respondents that I can (laughs) kind of twist to me that that white people are the victims here. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to blow up my entire career over that. Uh, He also said that he intentionally, uh, what'd he say? It's like, if you're white, get as far away from black people as possible. He was like, I'm, done defending them i've been sticking up and he 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 keeps like race it's like he's so racist he refers to it's like just the way he talks about black people in general like they're this group on an island somewhere that he's not really that familiar (laughs) with really (laughs) leaned into like those people like that and he was like i've been defending them for years but they don't if this is the way they're gonna treat it or whatever they're like just gonna slap you to throw it back in my face i say get like he's like every white person get away from black people just get up and go away from them and it's like what (laughs) and it's funny because tim dylan was like i don't know if you're aware but everybody who's rich enough is already doing that (laughs) (laughs) he's not wrong (laughs) fuck uh yeah yeah so Dilbert so, was canceled by like 60, uh, what, 60 different newspapers or something? Yeah, pretty. I don't think anybody's going to. I think it was every single person or every single newspaper group canceled it. Uh, he had a movie or a show in the works that got staked. or Like a Dilbert? Another Dilbert show? I don't know. It didn't say. It was just like he had something in the works. I don't know if it was Dilbert or something else he was going to write. And that got fucking torpedoed. And the other, the weird thing was, he's like, I've had three careers canceled by this sort of thing. And it's like, what were the other two? Yeah. Like, you've never been anything other than like a mid tier cartoonist. So, yeah. (laughs) Like, you got pretty rich off just writing a Dilbert cartoon. I'd say take your money, cash out, and just never bring it up again. Yeah, I mean, Scott Adams is going to be fine. He's like, I think he's made enough money over the years from Dilbert mm-hmm. where uh, 
he can afford to say ignorant racist shit online How and how old is he torpedo his uh entire life it's just so fucking dumb that like like you could just like die like what's his name uh Calvin and Hobbes guy Bill Bill Did Bill uh, Watterson die oh is he still alive okay never yeah, mind. he's still alive he just yeah he has something new coming out like he just retired from the game. I just assumed he was dead. You could die like. I thought, uh, I thought you were talking about something that happened recently. Gary uh, Gary Larson's dead, right? That guy's dead as hell. Gotta be dead. Yeah, Scott Adams is 65 this year. Hey, coincidence? Maybe you should fucking retire, Scott Adams, and just be an old racist white dude at the old folks home. Gary Larson is still alive also? What the fuck? Okay, I, never mind. I was going to say he could have gone out being like a, just a beloved, uh, you know, <laughs> Sunday morning cartoonist like uh, like uh, Bill, All these be- what, Oh, Bill Charles Watterson? Schultz. How about that? Charles Schultz Charles Schultz dead. sucked, man. Fuck, fuck Charles Schultz. Dude, I was giving you an example of someone no, beloved that's a bad who's example. dead. Yeah, Peanuts was was less funny than Dilbert. Peanut, like honestly, Peanuts should be nowhere near as popular as it is. I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, like, and, licensing. And what I think it's just like old people because they didn't have any good cartoons. Like twenty people like thirty years older than us. So people in their like like Scott Adams age, like sixty five and stuff, they all love it because it was like the cartoon that was on when they were kids. And I guess if you're like sixty five the cartoons from your kids were like super old shitty racist looney tunes and disney cartoons and peanuts and of those three i'd still take disney over fucking peanuts yeah 100 percent. fucking until peanuts went all uh woke and introduced women characters and black characters just to like pander to the radical left you know <laughs> Yeah, they like, injured I, Lucy, the wokest character. Scott <laughs> Scott Adams is not a fan of Peanuts because he's like, oh, get the fuck away from Franklin. You have to leave. <laughs> White flight. Uh, he isn't reciprocating on all the defending you're doing of his race. <laughs> <laughs> like, that guy, but the, honestly, Scott Adams, anyone who's like seen Scott Adams on Twitter, he's been like, Pretty out to lunch, like far right for a while now. Yeah, like a and, rich sixty-five-year-old white guy. Yeah, but even like above and beyond. Yeah, he's like he's he's uh, he's leaned in on uh, some pretty fucking stupid. Uh, you know, I don't culture, know. I'm not culture war issues. I'm not too familiar with stuff like this. I've I've known there's like the buzz that it's like because wasn't he like super annoying about the whole um covid restrictions and stuff yeah. too yeah i just i he's just like got this like uh i guess i don't know what the right word is like a persona of just being like ignorant i guess that's what you could say do you see that's uh andrew tate's defense as well is uh that he's ignorant is that it's a it's a persona that he like that's not really and so many fucking like right wing guys end up like mm-hmm. doing this, like grifting their entire audience. And then when it goes too far and they get charged for Romanian yeah. sex crimes, <laughs> yeah. they, uh, <laughs> they're like they pull it back and they're like, oh, that that guy is just a character. I play the guy who committed those Romanian sex crimes. The real me is a good person. Uh, yeah, you know that piece of shit I've been putting on a podcast for five years <laughs> and just putting out as who I am naturally. Yeah, that's fake. I'm actually just some pussy who doesn't. I'm like a good. That. I'm a good. Yeah, I mean, faking uh, cancer to get yourself out of Romanian pr- prison is not. Did alpha he fake shit. cancer? Is not alpha shit. Someone in his like circle leaked documents, being like, "Oh, Andrew Tate has like." This is a medical report, and Andrew Tate has lung cancer, and the more time he spends in this Romanian prison denying him access to care is, uh, is you know, ruining his life, and Romanian authorities should respond to this, and then... Oh, yeah, he has lung cancer? How do all those cigar or cigars cigar, taste well, now? Yeah, that's Andrew the, Tate. I don't think he actually has... And, and then Andrew Tate came out, and he was like, 
I think Andrew Tate Wade, it's like, what would be more damaging to my brand if people knew that I had lung cancer or if I waste away the rest of my life in a Romanian prison? And he decided that uh, the Romanian prison would be better for him because he came out and was like, I don't have cancer. This is this is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably better. Oh, I gotta, uh, s- I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Okay. Let it out. Bless you. God damn. That was a lot of sneezes. Whew. What bless you. That look looked like looked like a good one. Is my face all red? <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> normally. <laughs> All right. Um, what else are we talking about? Justin Bieber. Oh, I put Bieber on there because he just he remember how we had a concert and then he got like that fucking thing where half his face went numb. So he like kept postponing his concert. And now he's officially canceled his world tour, whichever one he was on. I can't remember what it was called. Did, did he have long COVID? Well, he has a half of his face is paralyzed. All right. Is that and still so, like, going on? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it's going on because he canceled all his tour dates and he sold his entire back catalog a couple months ago. Do you remember that? Oh, good for him. For $200 million to hypnosis, good. which is... What is that, like a, per- like a person? It's this weird thing where it's this guy, he start like, you know, like hedge funds, right? How they work? Yeah. yeah. Okay, basically everybody out there, if you don't know what a hedge fund is, is you get a hedge fund manager and a whole bunch of rich people give him money and then he invests it and he gives people percentages. He builds builds a portfolio of stocks that he will invest your funds into on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he keeps all the money and gives you like payments if he makes money or stuff. So what hypnosis is, I'm just going to double check that that's what it's called because it's like HIP. G N O S I S. So this is like the same thing where it's like a hedge fund, but what they do is they buy all these back catalogs of music. So to a lesser extent, like a year and a half ago, they bought 50% of Neil Young's library and then they buy a whole bunch of old libraries. So they take those and they treat them like a hedge fund where they kind of like they just sell the music to people and then they take the money they make from that and then they invest it in socks and stuff. And then like they're intertwined with BlackRock and some, I don't know, I forget. It's been a while since I did research on it, but that company Blackstone that keeps showing up, they're also invested in it and stuff. So yeah. So it's, it's like this weird thing where they're like taking So, like, when music gets royalties, like all of Justin Bieber's music, if you want to license it, you'll be giving money to this big group called Hypnosis, and then they'll invest the money they make from this into the stocks and stuff. Interesting. It's a super good idea. So, wait, so Justin Bieber basically exchanged his music for... Money. They gave him... 200 million dollars and he was like so also like can he still tour if he doesn't own the rights to his own music or would they be like it's okay if you tour because it's like free advertising for this money we owe it's like this weird thing that i don't know the financials of i guess it would be like back in the day when nobody owned their own music and they still toured and they got tour money and I don't right, know. and then the record labels actually owned all the uh, all the rights to their shit. Yeah, so I put in the notes: Is Justin Bieber done? Like, do you think his career is over? Um, no. Huh? I mean, his career is like a touring musician might be. Yeah, uh, he's also oh. made. Sorry, I just want to interject. He has Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And I'm going to look up if that's permanent. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's... Oh, when a shingles outbreak affects the facial nerve near one of your ears. Facial paralysis, hearing loss. Okay, yeah, but what's all this, like, exhaustion and whatever other shit? Like, is that part of it? 
Um, well, I imagine, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what the exhaustion shit is. Did he say he was exhausted, so he's taking time off? Uh, it's, there was a quote in the story about, like, how he did one show, and then he was just, like, so wiped out after it that he was like, you know, I gotta cancel this whole tour. Um. Oh, maybe he has, I thought he was canceling it because of the Ramsey Hunt thing. I thought maybe he has he long have, like, COVID like long me. COVID or something? Like me. Is that? Uh, who else? Oh, uh, and, and NHL player Jonathan Taves recently yeah. also said and that. And then like... some, yeah, he, he said he had long COVID and some, there's a couple like other NHL players who said they had it, but they're kind of scrubs. So nobody knows them. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Cause he's had the facial paralysis for like a year, I think. Yeah. Uh, Justice Tour cancellation came months after Bieber announced that he would take a break from touring in September. After getting off stage, the exhaustion overtook me and I realized I need to make my health a priority right now. I'm going Mm -hmm. to take a break from touring for the time being. I'm going to be okay, but I need time to rest and get better. Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Full paralysis on the side of my face. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Damn, listen to this. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox. After chickenpox clears up, the virus still lives in your nerves. Years later, it may reactivate. When it does, it can affect your facial nerves. Ooh, so it it looks like it starts like right in front of your ear at the top of your jaw. And then like the facial nerves that go up like this. Oh, that's nuts. And it's totally fucking random too, right? Like we all got chickenpox and then... Uh, it just depends, like, where it activates. Well, it can make you death and give you tinnitus? Give you vertigo? Human bodies are dog shit, man. They're just, oh, like, dude. so immensely flawed. How the fuck do any of them work? <laughs> like, you just hear st- shit like this. It's like, oh, you get chicken pox, and then years later, half your face goes dumb, yeah. and you can't hear anything, no and reason. you lose your sense of taste. 99% like, of other people who got chicken pox, they'll be fine. But you, yeah. you lose everything. And it's like, it's so true. Like the human body, it's like, it's just, it shouldn't work. Basically, no. it's just but like. It really should not. A bag full of jello and rocks that just somehow <laughs> magically doesn't just collapse. Um, <laughs> like yeah. I'm taking, I'm next, like tomorrow, I'm going to take. Uh, first aid level two, like operational health and safety. And I was looking through the book and it was just talking about all this stuff that you like, Oh, if you're talking to someone and their face is caved in and I'm like, Dude. it's just like, reminds me about how like fragile we are. And we just like walk around with like fucking cement and knives and sharp objects around and us at all times. drive cars and fucking like yeah. work in industrial <laughs> workshops. We're so fucking dumb. Yeah, we are not. We are not a smart, <laughs> smart peoples. But, you know, we've all managed to survive this long. So <laughs> go us. Uh, I don't think Justin Bieber is oh, like there will probably still be opportunities for him to record music and make mm-hmm. music. I, I don't know if he'll tour again or if he doesn't find like another way to tour, like send fucking hologram Justin Bieber out on the road um, mm-hmm. to, you know, rake in hundreds of thousand dollars a night. Um, what? Justin Bieber, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Yeah, it could. Right? <laughs> Good, good be Am good, I right? Uh, could be a Fucking good, good mashup there. Kill it. Like, just do a new... Like, remember how the Wiz updated Wizard of Oz? With Michael Jackson, yeah. Yeah, and like, black music and stuff. Maybe Scott Adams hated that play, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Bieber updates fucking um, Phantom of the Opera with, instead of like, opera tunes and shit, it's all like... What type Contempor- of music is contemporary electronic EDM like EDM like pop white, white white boy pop rap whatever genre he is and then he could take the weekend with him and they could co do it mm. they're kind of the same music aren't they I like it you should cool. actually pitch you should you should pitch this <laughs> yeah no, they're oh they're both Canadian too they are both Canadian yeah ah oh, okay there you go we need to uh trademark this uh 
Phantom of the Opera remake starring Justin Bieber in the weekend. I feel like if I say this on Twitter, hey, Justin Bieber should do a remake of Phantom of the Opera, people will get mad at me. Yeah, people on Twitter get mad about everything. Yeah, that's, that's true. You know? They you do. know? Dale? Mm. I think all the people who would get mad at me already blocked me anyway. So that's, There's always there's always more. Candace was telling me she uh, faced the wrath of like a lot of people on Twitter because she made a comment about how she let you know how like you can let your kids like cried out like that's a method of sleep training where you just basically like, oh yeah let your kids cry themselves to sleep. Um, she like tweeted at this person with half a million followers that she had like let her kids cried out. And the person like quote tweeted her and went off on her for it. And then she had like half a million people coming after her because this person had. Nice. Fucking... Yeah, it's great. It's great. I wanna, it's I'm going to fucking quote tweet this person and get half a million people to view my profile. You got to get <laughs> just be as offensive as I mean, possible. Hey, half a million people stop by. At least two or three are going to like what you got that, to say. That's actually that's true. There's no, there's no negative exposure. It's true. And my only reply would be like, wow, if you hate this opinion, you should watch my podcast. And then you can hate me a lot more. Yeah, but also listen to our podcast. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <clears throat> um, wow, my notes this week are shit. I'm so why, sidetracked. Why? I don't know. They're just like. I just put Lord of the Rings reboot and I didn't yeah, post the story you or whatever. You did just throw that in there. Oh, th yeah, because I was going to research it and I don't know if they're actually doing it or if like nerds on Twitter and Facebook preemptively got upset that they're talking about making the Lord of the Rings reboot. What okay. do you think about that? What, about them making one? Yeah. F fine? Yeah. It's not like the other ones were like such timeless classics, like that were like, oh, these are like, these shall never be remade. Yeah. Um, I could see a bunch of nerds getting upset about it. I think it would be better if like they just left those as like the source material and then did like a fucking Star Wars thing and we're like, now we're going to do the, you know, the. Oh, yeah. The JR like, um, token like extended universe and do oh, that would be like, sweet prequels and sequels and like spin it out to this whole fucking thing so that like those you're not just like retreading the same story over and over again yeah. because no yeah, I'm with knows. you like get into the lore because um Tolkien basically built this entire world and they've only done six movies because you gotta count the Hobbit ones. I'm only counting those the because Hobbit. I'm not counting like the old cartoon Hobbit or oh, whatever. Okay. But like you have the Hobbit trilogy and you have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And yep. then you have that what's that fucking TV series called? Do you know what I'm talking about? The one that's on Prime? They have one season out. It just came out last year. Oh, the the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, no, I don't know what it's called. It's like the Basically. Power of the Ring or something? Something like that. Yeah, I don't know, but it's it was fucking dope because it's like it takes it takes um, place right when Gandalf became Gandalf. Like he was like, I didn't even know this from watching Lord of the R Lord of the Rings, but Gandalf was like a star person or something. And he came down on a comet. The same, like he's the same type of being as Sauron was, but Gandalf became good and Sauron became bad. I didn't know any of this fucking shit. There's so much of this shit they could just delve into. Yeah. Right? Make, make a bunch of movies. I'd like to you said J.R.R. Tolkien did, like, he did extensive world building for this shit. Yeah. Or you could even, like, write new stories set in the same, like, universe, right? Oh, yeah. Like, even we... take, like, um, the dwarves and stuff and just do a whole fucking series on the dwarves and then do the elves and then all that stuff. Yeah, split it up and do racially segregated series on the great, great idea, Dale. In this day and age... <laughs> What do you is it thinking? still is it still racist? Thinking? Is it still racist if they're not humans? Is that still kind of species? Species? It would be species? like it would be like this is 
That would does it count as segregation if you're technically different beings? Are not yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We practice it in like zoos all the yeah. time. We uh and you know, maybe that's where we need to focus our attention next is, yeah. is ending uh you know animal segregation and letting them roam freely amongst each other and their human counterparts cool Damn. um yeah so Damn. i was just what <laughs> sorry only half heard you sorry i was trying to read and listen at the same time which surprise surprise i'm no good at but um shocker warner brothers did announce like it was an official announcement that they were going to reboot it um did lord of the rings make the other ones or did they just get the rights for it? They just got the rights for it, did they? It wasn't okay. from like it wasn't put out by Who made the, the last like... trilogy? What do you mean? The one that just the one that's already out. The one with fucking Gandalf and uh Lord of the Oh no, it was uh it was Warner Brothers, I think. Oh, was it? Wait. Here, let me go IMDB. Warner Wait, what of the fuck? The rings. Because the wording on, I, truth be told, I was half listening to you while I was trying to read it, but it sounded like WB just got the rights for it. Well, it says the current rights are currently, the rights are currently owned by a Swedish gaming company, what? Embracer Group. Oh, really? Is that just the gaming rights? I know the family. No, it's the film. They, they own the film rights. Oh, really? Inexplicably. Who produced the other ones? Director, right. writer, stars. Where do I find this? God damn it. Um. Jesus Christ! This is so annoying. Sorry, sorry, fans. Um. I'm just trying, like on the IMDb, I've never tried to look up production before. So, as you could tell, get the fuck out of here. Is this, do I have to go to IMDb Pro for this? What is going on? No. Try Wikipedia. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn, this Embracer group owns all kinds of shit. Oh, really? What else they do they own? Uh, they own Dark Horse Media, the parent group of Dark Horse Comics. Oh, nice. Uh, home to hits like Hellboy, Sin City, 300, and The Umbrella Academy. And naturally, they own all the rights to those future movie or show adaptations as well. Yeah. Uh, they own several physical game publishers, including the Settlers of Catan. Oh, really? They own... Dope. Uh... The Tomb Raider and Deus Ex franchises, uh, along with other games and studios from Square Enix Europe. And this company... Oh, okay. Okay. What? What? Well, I'm like, what, how did this game... or This gaming company came out of nowhere to like buy all this shit up. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says they were funded... This is a Swedish gaming company funded by the government of Saudi Arabia, which oh, invested shit. One, $1 billion buying an 8% stake in the company. So when you play Settlers of Catan or uh, watch a Lord of the Rings movie, you are contributing to human rights violations in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Holy fuck. I did not know that. Okay. Follow so the money, Dale. <laughs> the Peter Jackson hey, Lord of the Wing the Rings trilogy was released by New Line Cinema and Wingnut Films. So it wasn't owned by Warner Brothers. And dude, I didn't fucking realize, but Lord of the Rings, the first movie in the trilogy, came out 22 years ago in 2001. Yeah, it was a long ass time ago. Yeah, maybe it's time to do a reboot. That's like, New do it. New Line Cinema is owned by Warner Brothers. Oh, is it? Yeah. Fuck. Okay, whatever. So I just I just googled it. <laughs> it doesn't say googled. that on this list. I just googled so much. Anyways, I for one, I want a new fucking Lord of the Rings. Even if you do shot for shot the exact same movies, but just update the effects, I'm down. 
They did that with Star Wars 2, right? Didn't they do the, like, the re, uh, not the remix, the remastered editions where they took, like, the original Star Wars films and then, mm. uh, like, updated George, the, the George Lucas just added visual effects to the movies. Yeah. So he put, like, CGI monsters in the background and then all the explosion effects, he added, like, some dazzle to them and stuff. Some dazzle. It made him better. It made him way better. But I'm like, I I say go a whole step forward, further, and remember um, the Psycho remake that was shot for shot with Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Do that do with that. Lord of the Rings. I'm all in. Let me pick the cast though. I want some fucking Rock in there. I want some John Cena. I want. <sighs> okay, who would you I... put? Are you As, putting all, all pro wrestlers? Is that? Oh my God, could you imagine? But the best ones are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a time machine and a shovel. We're digging up Macho Man and he's going to be Gandalf. And then they could do a <laughs> wrestling tie-in event called Lord of the Ring. And then you oh, like put shit. them all as their characters in a wrestling ring and have it be like a fucking cage match. That'd be oh, dope. Dude. dude, or just have <laughs> a Lord of the Ring battle royal and it's they're just all dressed as lord of the rings characters <laughs> it's just like a wrestling event Rock i'd even want that fucking dwarf beard uh mm -hmm. what were you gonna ask who would who would cast who is who who would you cast in it for let's just go with the major characters because i don't know all the characters names and i'll just out myself as not having any real nerd cred okay, okay. who would you cast as gandalf uh oh fuck i think he's still alive right ian McKellen? Yeah. Why but fuck with a good thing? You can't, you can't do make him do the yet? same thing. Okay, who's the other? Who's the other? Ian okay, McCallum? there's Frodo, who's like the main character. Frodo, I would probably do like Timothy Chalamet because he's like, who's that? Soft little bitch. I know um, the name. Timothy Chalamet. He's like, uh, oh my god, he's like the new it boy. What has he been in? He was in Dune. He's the Dune, the Dune guy. Oh, that's a good call actually, because he the looks. Dune boy. Wow, that's not how I would have spelled Chalamet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. He looks like Frodo. That's a good choice. He's like, thanks, bro. Okay, Can who I... would you use for Sam? Wait, who would you, who would you, who would you do? I don't know. I can't oh not God. see. I was, I was going to say Miles Teller, but I think he's too old. Oh, yeah. So that would be a good choice, too. I think he's, Miles Teller He's kind of too... He's too rugged and manly to be... Frodo though he could probably be whoever Viggo Mortensen was um oh the fucking one of the human adult ranger guys no that would be better as like uh uh oh fuck like Keanu Reeves or something oh <laughs> man dude <laughs> Keanu Reeves as Gandalf <laughs> let's do you know if we're doing our dream cast yeah 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 let's do it Keanu Reeves as Gandalf white long yes. white hair white beard yeah, he could, he could take a break from filming John Wick 6 and he could fucking do Lord of the Rings. They are making another one of those, right? Uh, I think I just saw a trailer for four. Of John Wick. Is that what you asked if they're making another yeah. one? Else? Yeah. Speaking of John Wick, did you see Bullet Train yet? No. Dude. Oh, no. Wait. I did. I watched it's it. It's so fucking good. It was, it was really fucking good. It's Where so did I good. Watch that? It's yeah, on I think Prime. We just watched it here one night. I yeah. streamed it, but it was like, yeah, it was crazy fucking good. Like I Very saw the John Wick ask. Yeah, I saw the trailer for it. And I was like, this looks pretty good. And I was expecting like, I was expecting it to be good, but not as good as it was. I was like, why isn't this everybody's favorite movie? And how are people not talking about this constantly? Because it movie was just was really awesome. fucking. It, it was fun to watch. Like yeah, from like start to end, it was fun. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Still got it. He's like as old as Scott Adams, and I don't want Brad Pitt to retire because he's still no. fucking. He still make a good fucking movie. Yeah, and he doesn't run his mouth off about <laughs> racial issues like a fucking moron. And if he does cite a poll, he actually reads what they're fucking talking about. Well, you were talking that whole time. I was trying to Google like who is the new Sean Astin to figure out like who could be a good uh, Samwise. I I don't know. I came out with nothing. Oh, but now that you mentioned be? it. I do want to see Brad Pitt in this movie, but I would cast him as like fucking Boromir or something uh, nice. rather than uh, rather than Samwise. But who's yeah. like a little like like Patton Oswalt, but like younger. Oh, that is 
Patton Oswald is the exact same thing. Um, the kid from the fucking Goldbergs. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, he would What's love to do it too. I can't remember. What's his name? Or even his older brother Barry of the Goldbergs. Oh, that's very Italian. Sean Gembroni. Sean Gembroni. Sean the Gembroni. Oh, you know what? He should play Sam, and then his older brother in the show, um, Barry, should play one of the other two hobbits, either Mary or Pippin. That'd be funny. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Are we out of? Uh, okay, who? Uh, how about the uh, the fucking the dwarf? Um, dwarf. Oh, who's thick? Oh, fucking um. Oh, what's his name? The super hot guy who's an Aquaman. Oh, uh, oh, fucking not Jason Derulo. Uh, fuck Jason Momoa. Fuck. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yes, that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> Yes. Yes, that would be good. And then who's super hung? Oh, um, fucking Heath Ledger as the elf. Heath Ledger's dead, Dale. I don't know if anyone told you this. He's what? no longer. Oh, not Heath Ledger. He's no <laughs> longer with us. He, Jesus he tragically passed from. He's not even a little. He's been dead over a decade by He's... now. Fuck. Chris Hemsworth. Why the go. fuck would I get those two mixed <laughs> up? <laughs> They're very, uh, very easy to confuse. They're both so. <laughs> blonde. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. Yes, Jason Momoa. And I like it because you're doing like a little Marvel, a little DC mm -hmm. in there. Uh, and then Bring everybody together. Who do we have for uh, the effeminate uh, elf boy? That's who Heath Ledger would be. Or not Heath Fuck. <laughs> you, you did it that again. was Chris Hemsworth. Oh, Chris well, Hemsworth is the effeminate elf yeah. boy. Okay. I think that's it. That's all the major characters. Yeah, that was the main uh, the main party, right? Yeah. And then all the other people that I can't remember their names, the characters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Heath Ledger. This is this is a uh, a vote of confidence from Outrage Factory, the world's <laughs> foremost outrage related podcast, to remake Lord of the Rings mm. shot for shot with Heath Le with he the reanimated corpse of Heath Ledger uh, <laughs> in a starring role. Yeah. Um, do you have time for one more? Yeah, as long as we power through it. Okay, it's going to be a quick one um, because I don't really know much about baseball. You're going to start a baseball fantasy league. Also, if anybody wants to sign up for that, are you? Do you still need more people? Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you want to join Derek's baseball fantasy pool, just let us know in the comments, and we'll get you a link. Email us. There's no money involved. It's just, uh, it's just bragging yeah. rights. So, outragefactpod at gmail dot com, or yeah. just a comment. Uh, MLB has pitch clocks now. They do, yeah. Which I didn't know was a th also. People were complaining about it because what it is, oh, fuck, what was it? It's from when a pitcher gets the ball from either the umpire or the back catcher, he has 20 seconds to start his pitch if there's someone on base and 15 seconds if there's no one on base. No one on base, yes. And people are losing their fucking minds about it. It's this. fucking amazing, they're man. ruining the game. No, so here's the people saying that are fucking idiots who <laughs> have like – no forward thought. The the major baseball, the sport of major league baseball is losing viewership. And a big part of that is because the games are so fucking slow. Mm -hmm. a, a baseball game can take six hours for no other reason than like they do not get their shit together. And just fucking like you can take as much time as you want between pitches. You have fucking uh batters like stepping out of the batter's box and just like strolling around thinking about their shopping list and then stepping back into the batter's box and then there was a clip that somebody showed and it was like a full fucking five minutes for one pitch to be thrown just because like the batter was like wandering around getting their shit together and then a pitcher was wandering around getting their shit together and they both kind of like kept doing that until it took like five minutes for one pitch. Yeah. And, and it's, they like psych each other out. Like the batter will just step his like back foot out 
and then just like hit his cleats just to like try fuck up the pitcher. And then I saw a clip and it was a batter was taking too long. And then he, they just counted it as a strikeout. Yeah. Cause I think what happens is if the, the, I didn't see the time, like that 20 seconds, if the batter's not in the box, is he just out? Is that how it it's, works? It's an automatic. So they called, there was a, uh, a, uh, spring training game that happened that ended on a like basically delay of game stri- auto strikeout that was called because the batter wasn't in the box within the 15 seconds and it was yeah. an auto strike and it was strike three on the last out of the game and that <laughs> ended the game um yeah i think and it's it, like it's like just you training said yourself, or whatever so yeah you, you don't you don't watch baseball because it is slow as fuck like there's yeah. not that much enter you don't go to a baseball game to be like entertained by the fast rate of play you go to a baseball game to eat giant ass hot dogs and like eat a bunch of beer and shoot the shit with your friends yeah. but I think if the sport actually does want to grow and they didn't change, they weren't like, Oh, now it's six strikes and they didn't like change (laughs) anything fundamental about the Mm -hmm. game. They were just like, hurry the fuck up, play the game faster. Um, Yeah. Which I, and I think it will help. Like I've, I I already think it's more watchable because you don't need to set aside five hours of your life to watch a regular season. game. Oh yeah. No doubt. Like I, heard about this and i was like oh fuck maybe i'll watch a baseball game now and like because i got sports net to watch hockey i'm like well maybe i'll keep it and watch a little bit of baseball now that we're having this baseball pool and i should actually maybe try to pay attention oh, so much the rosters are so big there's so they many are. people oh, i yeah, don't know you, what the pitch stuff means <laughs> you just you just focus on the the Good. There's only a few good people per roster, right? Ribbies and home runs. That's all I care about. Well, no, and pitch, pitching is no. pitching is important too. Pitching is too annoying to figure out. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna pick whoever is supposed to be good on the app, and those are gonna be my pitchers. I look I'm forward to you the, like almost definitely choose. finishing in uh, first place because <laughs> you just like auto drafted. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I fucking hate, like, purists in any sport who always, like, complain about fucking changes that they make for progress. Like, there is the odd misstep where they're like, okay, this is fucking dumb and we shouldn't have done that. And they usually, like, walk it back. But, like, generally, sports should not stay the exact same way for hundreds of years. Like, they just, like, the technology changes, the, uh, the athletes themselves change, like, shit progresses and and because of that you do occasionally need to like change what the sport actually looks like or how it Mm -hmm. is played so yeah like because they never like back in the day when these purists got into the sport they never took this long to like pitch and shit they would just stand there and be like stubbornly about how manly they were and let their toxic masculinity let them get striked out instead of stepping out of the panel or the batter's box so yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm definitely down with this. This should the sport should be updated as time goes on. Like they update all the equipment. They're not using the same bats and cleats as they were a hundred years ago. So let's get the game moving. Get it yeah. on and popping. Fucking make it easier for me to and other people to watch. Like you yes. think the fucking TikTok generation has the attention span <laughs> for a fucking five hour sporting event? Pull your heads out of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're both for it then. Yeah, we're we're for we're very positive today. We're for Lord of the Rings remake. Mm-hmm. We're for uh, MLB rule changes. We're for Scott Adams getting canceled. <laughs> yeah, we getting are, shot uh, into the side of the moon. <laughs> just like fucking get rid of him. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah. Muzzle him. Don't let him speak anymore. How uh, will we ever replace Dilbert? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been such a cultural touchstone these last yeah. uh, last many years. <laughs> Uh, I did want to talk. Let, let's just save it for the next episode. We can even just have like a whole like trans episode where we talk about like the moral panic gripping the states with like transgender people and drag shows and whatever else. Oh, and how they made it like a felony in one state. Yeah, which is like so fucking dumb. And we could like we're not going to get into that this episode because I have a lot to say about it. So, oh, is this oh. how we get canceled? <laughs> no, no, I've no, I don't think. <laughs> 
Oh, did you I see? I do not have anything to say. Speaking of which, and how we're not talking about it, we can also not talk about that Canadian teacher who just got put on paid leave for having the size Z breasts. Yeah. Well, that one was a little. Did we weird. talk about that before? I think we might have, but I'm like pretty that person sure that, is like. I'm pretty sure that was a troll. And he was like a right wing guy trying to like prove a point about how dumb the whole thing was. Whatever it is, that person is like not well in the yeah. head. Because... That person is not like that person doesn't have gender dysphoria. That person is trying to like do something else and make a point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can talk about that too. Oh, and then there was another story about a person who is uh who got uh you know, gender affirming surgery or whatever as an adult. And now is trying to sue the doctors because they are changing their minds and saying they didn't, they weren't actually transgendered at all and that they were lied to by their therapists and the medical establishment and basically like forced to get this surgery. Ah, uh, um, yeah. So we'll talk about that too. Like because how fuck out of here. Was that the one I had linked in there or is it something yeah. else? Oh, okay. I think I, I think I added that link, didn't I? Oh, maybe. So the like, National oh, we, Post story. Mm, yeah, yeah, we got we got to talk about what a fucking idiot this person is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but we'll do that next week because uh, I have to go deal with the baby and let my wife get some sleep and hopefully get my some sleep myself. There you and go. I guess we're officially on uh, Dale Baby Watch. So yeah, we uh, are. Well, Andrea's on thirty-seven and a half weeks. Due date is supposed to be March twenty-second, so it could happen any day now. 38 weeks is full term, right? That's like Yeah, I think 37 is considered full term. So she could she could basically pop She any, could have uh... a baby right now. But don't <laughs> say it hear, out loud. <laughs> as we hear the water breaking from the next room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, stay tuned for for updates on the uh the baby watch. Uh please rate, review and subscribe wherever you get your mm -hmm. podcast follow uh, us on and then we'll just switch it to dad factory yeah and we'll just talk about parenting and how little sleep we get and how much our babies <laughs> piss and shit on us uh <laughs> and it will still be more enjoyable than talking about uh internet outrage somehow yeah yeah uh dale anything else to add uh no thanks everyone for joining us again sorry that we i couldn't figure out the stream thing and but like as you probably what you're obviously watching this as a recorded version and we haven't done the streaming on facebook live for the last two episodes and that's just because when you click stream on facebook from zoom it doesn't work anymore and i don't have the technology technological aptitude to figure out why so we're just we're just gonna do it this way yeah so it's better that we don't have to read your dumbass comments while we're <laughs> while we're recording yeah we'll just to them. get di get distracted while i fucking google hunts ramsey or ramsey hunt syndrome <laughs> uh cool all right okay until next week stay angry